Hello guys, this is the 2023 Nissan Altima SR. This one has the 2.5 naturally aspirated four cylinder engine and it is finished in sky gray. Today I'm gonna to be taking it on a POV test drive. So for 2023, the Altima was facelifted and I personally think it does look good and I really love the rims on this SR Altima. There is good amount of trims you could choose from. There is the S, SV, SR, SR Midnight, SL, and Platinum. Platinum is the highest trim. But let's go ahead and take this SR on a POV test drive and see how it does. Right, here's the interior of this 2023 Nissan Altima SR. This is the front wheel drive and it does have the 2.5 naturally aspirated four cylinder engine. You could get the Altima in all wheel drive if you want to, and you could get the Altima in a 2.0 turbocharged VC uh, turbo. Well, today we're gonna be driving this 2.5 backup camera resolution is not the best when you put the car in reverse the screen dims not a big fan of that but the brightness is pretty good um, I had to bring the brightness all the way up and uh, usually Nissan isn't really good with the screens they have a lot of glare so I'm not a big fan of that but let's go ahead and take this Altima on a drive and see how it does as you guys see it does have Apple CarPlay does have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Right, so driving this 2023 Nissan Altima drives nice and smooth nice and comfortable this is the SR trim that means it has the sport tuned suspension so the suspension is going to be a little bit stiffer than the other trims very nice and quiet inside it does have 19 inch rims with a little bit of rubber but there is not a lot of road noise which I like we're gonna go ahead and take this Altima on the highway and we'll see how it does it is in sport mode now there is a button on the gear shifter that will put the car in sport mode it does have fake shifting so this Altima has CVT transmission, but definitely Nissan is doing a great job with their CVTs. Suspension is very good. No body lean and the car feels nice and solid. Very confident around turns. This car definitely feels nice and light. And you could definitely push this thing around sharp turns and corners. So the cabin is not extremely quiet. I definitely could hear the cars passing by and the trucks. A Little bit of wind noise, but I am on a bridge. <laughs> definitely the CVT transmission is good so Nissan before didn't do a good job with their CVTs but now I feel like their CVTs are very solid nice and responsive and I really like the CVT transmission anyways guys this uh, Altima has a 2.5 naturally aspirated four-cylinder engine it is connected to this CVT transmission and uh, you could actually uh, you could change the 
big gears using those paddle shifters. Big gears, but I'm glad that Nissan gave us the option to change gears, downshift and upshift. So that's definitely nice. This engine produces 188 horsepower and 180 pound-feet of torque. And as I said, guys, this Altima feels nice and light. Even with 188 horsepower, it does feel nice and responsive. This SR trim has blind spot monitoring system, does have all the nice safety features. I'll uh, go ahead and uh, turn on the adaptive cruise control or the um, cruise control when I have on the other side of the highway. It does have lane keeping assist, but I don't, I don't think this one actually has steering assist. Yeah, so this one does not have steering assist. And I'm not exactly sure if it has actually adaptive cruise control. I think it does. I'll test that when I hop on the other side of the highway. But again, guys, 188 horsepower and 180 pound-feet of torque are more than enough. Not a big fan of Nissan system. It's very old, laggy, doesn't have a lot of information. You can't really do a lot. So I like to keep it on Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. This thing definitely feels nice and light. Handling is very good in this SR trim. And I really love this facelift. I love the front end of this Altima. And um, overall, I think uh, Nissan did a great job with this facelift, uh, especially those rims. Um, I think they did a great job with them. And on the rims, it does say SR, which I think is a really nice touch. I love the red stitching inside of this Altima, especially on the door down there. A little bit of delay at first, and that's completely fine. But once it picks up, once it goes, it's actually nice and powerful. So every time it basically fake shifts, it pushes me back to the sea. And uh, definitely there is a lot of power to merge on the highway past someone. The ride quality is very good and nice and comfortable. Not extremely quiet in the cabin, but it's, I think it's decent, it's good. And I really love those seats. Nissan does a great job with their seats. They're very nice and comfortable. I really wish that the driver's seat went down a little bit to make me feel like I could control the car more. But uh, yeah, other than that, the seats are nice and comfortable. Um, seeing out of this car is very good. The windows are nice and big. Seeing out of the back is good. And um, the steering wheel is wrapped in leather. A little bit on the thinner side, but it's not too bad. I love the flat bottom design. Paddle shifters feel all right, finished in plastic. Not my favorite, but I'm glad that Nissan gave us the option uh, to downshift and upshift. So this SR trim is 30,000. I personally think it's a little bit on the expensive side. It is 30,000 with actually a good amount of um, options. So like splash guards and uh, small accessories like this. And uh, this 30,000 is with destination. I think this SR trim starts around 28,000 if I'm not mistaken. So the price is good, but it doesn't feel like a $30,000 car. It's definitely there, but I really wish that it was like 28,000 with destination and the few accessories it had. Other than that, this thing is very good. And, um, but I really wish that the cabin was a little bit quieter. But overall, definitely a very good car and uh, has a good amount of power. And uh, yeah, I really, really like this Altima. I love the orange stitching. I did say red stitching, but this is actually orange stitching. 
you could get the SR Midnight if you want basically a blackout look. I like this trim. There's this gloss black right here. Not a big fan of that. Let's go ahead and actually test the cruise control. So it doesn't have a death cruise control. Only has link keeping assist and uh, rear braking, blind spot, emergency braking, rear cross traffic. So for the price point, I really wish that it had adaptive cruise control and uh, steering assist. The CVT transmission feels like a normal, a normal transmission, which I like. As I said, guys, uh, there is a good amount of gloss black right here with some brushed aluminum. Not a big fan of this gloss black because it does collect a good amount of dust. Nice storage place. I really wish it was deeper. Down there, there's one 12 volt, one USB Type C, one USB, and an aux. The turn signal indicators are very loud in this Altima. I'm not sure why Nissan did it this way. Beautiful eight inch screen. I think the design looks good. There is a volume knob and a tune knob and some shortcuts underneath this screen. Climb controls are very easy to use. Again, guys, for 28,000 or 30,000 with destination and a few accessories. I really wish it had dual climb control, but I don't mind this because this is very easy to use. Temperature is on the right, the, speed, the fan speed is on the left and the modes are down uh, in the middle. So I definitely don't mind this, but again, for 28 or 30,000, I really wish that Nissan just gave us dual climate control. There is a seven inch screen between the two gauges. Gauges are very easy to read and understand. And uh, again, guys, seeing out of this car is super easy. The back seats are extremely spacious, good amount of leg room and head room. And usually those midsize sedans have a lot of room. So the Honda Accord, the Toyota Camry. Again, guys, very nice and smooth, very comfortable. I love the seats in this Altima. They're basically half leather, half cloth. Of course, not real leather, but definitely a nice touch. The seats are nice and grippy. Steering wheel is nice and light. I've noticed that the steering wheel is a little bit heavy in around parking lots. I'm gonna go ahead and test that when I do the turning radius, uh, like something like the Nissan Rogue. Um, it has a very nice light steering wheel around um, at low speeds, which I like. But this Altima, a little bit heavy. I really wish that it was lighter. Again, guys, this turn signal indicator is, the sound of the turn signal indicators is very, very loud. So we're gonna go ahead and do the turning radius test and see how it does. Again, guys, the steering wheel is a little bit heavy, but the turning radius is very, very good. This car feels very small, smaller than its size. We're gonna go ahead and put this car in sport mode and we're gonna go, go ahead and do an acceleration right here from a dead stop. Two storage, uh, two cup holders, storage place, a tiny bit of storage place right here. Good amount of storage place inside and um, this is nice and soft, wrapped in leather. I love the orange stitching. There's orange stitching right here. This is nice and soft. You could rest your knee right here and it's nice and comfortable. And uh, the front, the driver window is automatic up and down. I really wish that the driver was up, uh, automatic up and down too. And um, the headliner is nice and soft. Even the visors are nice and soft, nice and um, solid. And overall, it is nice and wide, comfortable, spacious. The trunk is nice and big. I'm gonna be filming uh, the full detailed review of this Altima after I finish this POV test drive. So if you guys are interested in seeing the details, I'll go ahead and show that. So 
so nice and responsive from a dead stop no wheel spin and that's expected because it does have a 188 horsepower and 180 pound-feet of torque so as I said I'm gonna be doing a full detailed review after this POV test drive so if you guys are interested in seeing the detailed uh, the details of this Altima make sure to check it out it should be the video should be on my channel but I am truly impressed with this Altima so the only things that I don't like about this Altima is the fact that it doesn't have steering assist and adaptive cruise control and I hate the fact that the cabin is a little bit loud or I shouldn't say loud but it's not quiet on the highway or when cars are passing by so I really wish that Nissan works on that I do understand this is an Altima it's not a Mercedes-Benz or an Audi but still I think Nissan should work on that other than that this thing looks very good from the outside I love the uh, tail lights and something that I completely forgot to mention is the tail lights tail lights are still halogen even with this facelift so I really wish that Nissan changes the tail lights because on this SR trim the tail lights are still halogen so on the Camry the Honda Accord they do have LED tail lights so Nissan I really think you should get rid of those tail lights and put everything LED and I really wish that they, they changed the headlights and tail lights with this facelift but other than that this thing looks good from the outside it does look for, good from the inside as well but from the inside it did not change that much the way how it drives it drives the same as the 2022 I love the gloss black grill with the SR finished in orange so definitely a good looking sedan it is nice and sporty and it does feel nice and sporty especially in this SR trim but I hope you guys enjoyed this POV test drive of this 2023 Nissan Altima SR if you guys are around and if you guys are interested make sure to come and see JC here at Napoli Nissan in Milford and if you guys are interested in seeing more videos like this please like and subscribe because it does help a lot and as always I'll see you next time